Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's reaction video. Um, so today we are going to be reviewing um, Voyager by Moonchild. So this one came about because if you've seen our um, interview or kind of chat with uh, 21, 21 Oranges, we posed a question to her asking her um, what album she could recommend to us. And it, this was the one. So I think she described it as kind of like jazz, jazz and soul. Um, so the album was, I think it was about 45 minutes long, roughly. Um, I think I had, was it 13, 14 songs on there? So we've already listened to it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So Brett, um, do you want to go first and tell us what you thought of it then? Yeah, what I'll, what I'll do this time, I think I'll, I'll get the uh, negatives done straight away and just get them out of the way so we can go back into hopefully ending on the positive. So um, it, it was there. So for me, there obviously there wasn't uh, much variety um, with the songs. Um, and therefore, sort of as it got more towards the end, it did feel a little bit repetitive in some parts. Um, however, I did think this was actually a really nice album to listen to, a very easy album to listen to. Um, the best way we've sort of explained these type of songs before in the past is imagine yourself being like in a real sort of cool, trendy bar and sort of there's the music in the background. As 21 just says, it, it, it does feel like a bit like soul, jazz type thing. But I think what I liked about it in the sense we have not heard of this type of music in the style of it was like, even though it was a, a main lead female singer, but it was also like, it could have sounded like, like a girl band as well, which in this style, I'm not really sort of come across really. I know probably um, there probably were some night bands in the 90s, potentially girl bands who did this sort of stuff, but not to, to this sort of amount really. Um, so there wasn't a lot I could really say about the songs themselves, but I did find myself, you know, really quite relaxed, quite chilled, um, um, listen to it and something that I could easily listen to again for me there wasn't really any sort of standout songs I said I think a lot of songs were pretty similar in some regards but yeah I think it's just right right down the middle just a really nice not too long put it on in the right mood listen to it enjoy it and then when you want to listen to it again when you're in the right mood again you listen to it to it again really yeah um so for me, I'd say, um, well, yeah, I say I do do say I do say this quite a bit with, with with albums. I think it's probably an album that probably not the best to kind of sit there and like try to review it because it's, I guess you say it's more kind of like you know relaxing sort of chill out music, um, and as you say, it's also quite samey, quite repetitive, not offering too much variation. Um, so maybe I couldn't fully appreciate it because I was too busy kind of thinking about, oh, what can I, what can I, uh, what notes can I make and stuff. Um, I put a note here as well, kind of put this down quite early, early on in the album. I put, Brett would probably call this spa music. And that's what, as it went on before, it probably wouldn't, but I don't know, you, you do use that. You do like to sort of label music sometimes as spa music, don't you? So I do, yeah. I, I said, this one is, it's not, that relaxed enough to be spa music. That's it. it's, it's that trendy bar, you know, yeah. nice cocktail bar kind of thing, background uh, music. But yeah, I always do find some sort of scenario analogy, I suppose, to help give an idea of what the album um, is like, really. Yeah, the reason I put she put that, like I said, it I put that down after the first two or three songs when I when I, I thought actually it does sound kind of yeah a bit sparish. But we'll, we'll we'll get back. We'll talk about that individually a little bit later. So kind of felt a little bit trancey at times, kind of like very much in the zone. Um, I wasn't sure about the singing after the first few songs. Again, we'll talk about those shortly. Um, almost seemed better without the singing. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the first few songs. But then I actually thought the voice became more prominent as the album went on. Um, actually, I kind of liked that in a way because it kind of started off like, yeah, not singing what didn't seem to be too important and it sort of really came into, into prominence. Um, so, 
yeah, they're, my, they're the notes um, I've made. Um, so the first track then was Voyager intro. It was only 46 seconds. It was just a kind of nice and relaxing kind of introduction with no, no words or anything. Uh, just relaxing music. Brett, what did you think of it? Yeah, I so said it felt like just like a proper track one of an intro intro song. It's just sort of getting you ready into. I mean, I'm say it probably shouldn't really be a track one. It should be like a a pre track, like like a track zero if there was such thing. And I, said, I think it's just setting you in the mood, getting you started with that. So yeah, nice nice opening um, to an album, and obviously it mixes in quite nicely into the next song. So the next one was Cure which I thought was relaxing, had a high-pitched, relaxing voice. There was some variation and overlapping in the voice work, kind of all sorts of voices going on. I think it was the same person, but just using different, I don't know, effects. Um, and it had a little kind of change up at the end, just to kind of mix things up a little bit. Yeah, a little crazy little mix up um, at the end. I think there's a couple of tracks which kind of do that um, as well. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Just really relaxing. But I'll put here sort of like it's kind of quite dated 70s sort of song, but in a modern way, um, which made me think about sort of being like the trendy bar kind of thing. Um, I get what you were saying for it. I actually didn't mind the voice. I thought it was actually all right, did well, well, but I could also see how it could also not be needed in a lot of the songs um, as well. And as you said, I know I just kept referring to like a girl, but yeah, I think it is the same woman. Um, but just use an effect to make it sound like there's like a group. But I said I, I quite like that sort of sound. It'd be interesting to actually get a girl band group who's doing this kind of sort of music. And I don't know why there hasn't been anything already ready. So um, yeah, I said it was, it was quite nice to, to listen to there. 6 a.m. Um, yeah, I thought the music was quite nice and relaxing. And this is where I made this note. We'd actually probably prefer it without the singing. Um, because for those of you that maybe have watched some of our um, review videos, um, you'll know that I don't, I don't really like music without words, but I just thought of this one probably actually would have been better without the words. And was that a flute that was being played? I'm no expert on uh, musical instruments. It sounded something like that. And a nice dramatic ending um, as well. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't know with the instruments. I mean, it was, I think we had the same instrument in one of the later tracks as well, or something quite similar, which was an unusual sounding um, instrument as well. Um, yeah, so when we're talking about relaxing songs, I think there's a difference. I think all the songs are generally relaxing, but there are some like this one which are really relaxing. I think these ones could be like sort of spa music um, yeah. as such. And I agree, we're actually even though the, there was like a the singing harmonising bit in it, which I really liked, it, I could see how it doesn't need to be on these particular songs because they're just so, so chill, so relaxing. And they could have had that in other things as well. So when we say about relaxing songs, so yeah, I think there's, we should make clear, there's the relaxing ones and then the real relaxing ones um, as well. Yeah, and we had every part for Linda. So it started off kind of crackly, this kind of crackly effect. I've, I've described this more as kind of like electronic music. Um, and I thought the singing works better on this one. Um, and I think this is where we kind of get away from maybe what I would just describe those first few tracks as kind of spa music and kind of head towards, um, you know, something a bit, a bit different maybe. Yeah, I, I kind of hear the sort of change this one. This almost now feels a bit like elevated music. I think it just has something a little bit more to it there. Um, and I also put, maybe this sounds a bit more R&B-like. So I say it's a little bit more, I want to say upbeat. We get some more of the upbeat ones a bit shortly, but um, it, it's not like the real spa relaxing kind of music. It has something that little bit to it from there. And again, just... Um, uh, all right and then sort of the ending i've sort of was actually quite a, a cool sort of ending i can't exactly remember what it was i just put cool ending um i wish i remember what i was now then we had hideaway it was just really really annoying and loud sound at, at one part it didn't last that long it's just like <sighs> doing my head in um and then this, the song kind of got quite 
got quite epic uh, as it went on to, towards the end. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on that one. Uh, yeah, this one has, I put here, so it has a bit more of a beat to it on this one here. <laughs> when we say epic, I <laughs> think in the grand scheme of things, they were just it with these particular um, type songs. And again, I think that we had this sort of that flute kind of type instrument being played um, in this one. I put it sort of like a jazz flute. Um, it's a little bit harder to be a relaxing type one, especially compared to the other ones. So, like I said, this was like sort of more upbeat type one. But again, I don't think it really stood out as a, anything special or good on this particular album. Okay, the next one was the list. Um, I've put feels like a proper song so far. The voice is prominent, unlike in the earlier songs, where I said, you know, there's no need to even have a voice. Um, more focus on the singing rather than the instrumentals and sounds, um, which I think mean, I quite like. So even though I haven't actually put my opinions on any of these songs here, from what I remember, I think this is definitely one of the, the better ones on there. Yeah, so this one had the same vibe as the previous one, but I think it wasn't as, I wouldn't say experimental, but it, it just, I think you're right, I think the best way to say it, it, it felt like more like it could have been almost a, a chart song as such. It just felt it wasn't too much on instrumentals. It wasn't too over the top of the singing. It was just just about average for everything um, on there, really. And again, just refer back again. Again, I could just see myself in the bar, really listening, um, really enjoy listening to this in the background. And we had um, Doors Closing. This was a really short one. Um, I like the kind of beginning bit. It said, um, you can hear like an announcement, like on, I think it was in America, like doors are closing, <laughs> like on a subway, like metro system or something. Um, and yeah, not too much to say about it. I think she was talking about like her life or something. It was about relationship. Can't remember that doors closing. Um, but yeah, it was very short. Yeah, I've put his short track and there's sort of not really a lot to, to say. So I quite like the sort of strange sound effects, which we're also going to see in a couple of other songs um, as well. And it's interesting because actually it's been hard. So even though it's been relaxing, you could just be I really didn't pick up sort of on what the songs were generally about. Um, but I, I, I don't know, for some reason, I didn't feel the need to need that. I think it, it was just a case of, I think as you said in the intro, it's hard to sit down and actually try and review this. This is something to sit down to, listen to, and just relax to and not delve too much um, into it unless you really, really, <laughs> really need to. So, um, but yeah, back to track. Yeah, short track, not really a lot to say. Just feels quite a bit modern, trendy, but in an old-fashioned way. So then we had um, Runaway. This is another, what I'm describing is like a real song in terms of like a chart song with a prominent voice. And I feel like the album is spicing up now. Like, you know, like it's really getting going. Um, yeah, that's it. It's a hard lot to say anything. But this one, this was stood out because um, towards the end, we had these sort of like gaming sounds. And I, I could have sworn I could hear Super Mario sort of being speaking or talking at some point in there. And I was thinking, was this an ad just coming? It just seems so surreal why, um, it was all there and just sound like like a video game or something. But um, yeah, this is definitely getting more away from the sort of the spa relaxing type ones and even more so from the trendy bar. I think it's getting that little bit more, I'd say it's a bit more sort of commercialised as a song. So yeah, after saying that, kind of saying though the album's sort of spicing up now, the next track, Think Back, I've just put a slower and sleepy track kind of like space themed uh, kind of a spacey kind of feel so <laughs> kind of wasn't didn't take off in the end or at least not this track anyway um no yeah it's the first one put here right so we're back to chilling out relaxing again we don't get too far <laughs> to get too um excited especially when i had the game thing i wonder, oh, I wonder where it's going to be going now with all in i think of the name of the album voyager is it really taking you on a real sort of strange journey um, but no, all sort of back um, relaxing uh, sort of thing. I said it, there was no, it there was no real difference to some of the previous ones um, that we had listened to before. Um, the next one then was now and then, so quite sleepy again. 
Um, I think the sleep is the word I'm putting for you, how you were describing very, very relaxing. <laughs> um, but yeah, somehow a, a bit of a faster pace than the previous song, which was also a sleepy one. Um, it was like a prominent eerie background sound going on as well. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, really, it's, it's kind of what I've put here. So I've said back to the real world. So it's still really relaxing, but yet there is some sort of beat to this one. So, so it's a really, really hard sort of mix to put there, how it could be that sort of relaxed stuff, but also having this sort of beat to it. I suppose you've got to kind of listen to it to probably really get and understand um, what we mean there, but that was the main point I put on this one here. Then we had Change Your Mind. We had some bells ringing, which I think was following on from the previous song. Um, again, it was sleepy. The singing was prominent. Not so much going on with the sounds as in some of the others. And then the song's kind of really taken off again, like in, you know, compared to, you know, for the level that it's at. Um, so actually I put here in brackets, it's the song's really taken off now in a sleepy way. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, it's really so right. And then, yeah, I put about the chimes and the bells, which were from the, the end of the last song. Um, which was almost over building up and then we're back to this sort of relaxing kind of thing, but trying to get up a bit, it, it, it's not really. Um, and I said, again, these are just a bit like the songs we had at the start, but because we've already had them at the start, they just don't didn't stand out and just weren't much to say about them from there, really. And actually with this one, obviously I've put as well, with this one, this probably was one of the longer ones, but it also felt one of the longer ones. So this is what I'm saying, the point where it's like, okay, it's a bit repetitive, even there is that tiny bit of variation, but generally they're all kind of the same. But for this one, for me, it just felt like this felt longer than the others. Yeah, then we had Show the Way. It was a different kind of sound for the first few seconds. I thought, what's going on? Is this like an advert I've got or something? I checked. I think it was actually the song. But then it went straight back to the kind of sleepy jazz that we've been, that we were, you know, we're used to on this album. Um, it did get quite lively, though. Um, I thought. Yeah, so I put this one as probably, I said, even though it's hard to have a favourite or something that stood out from this one, but I did put this one with a smile face as probably my, one of my favourites um, on the album. I think for this one, because it just, ha it was just that in the middle of everything. It wasn't the really slow, relaxing one. It wasn't the crazy offbeat ones in terms of these, and what were these songs here on the album here. It was just that sort of nice, right in the middle. It just felt relaxed enough, but with a beat to kind of listen to it. Almost a bit like it could have been a more commercial um, pop song there. And again, refer back to being just a trendy bar was in the background, could see myself um, enjoying it. It had a bit of a sort of poppy, boppy beats um, to it. So yeah, that's sort of, then I just, not too relaxing, not too over the top. And the last one then was Let You Go. Um, I just put down here for this one, probably the best song to release if trying to make the charts. It described it, you know, as a proper kind of, almost like a chart song. Um, it's kind of all I've got for that one. Yeah, I say I think it was glad that these two songs were sort of at the end. Because I think if they'd been earlier on and then we had love the ones we didn't like towards the end, I probably would have been more negative about them. But I think it helped to have a more positive feeling myself now. And this one I felt was quite similar to the one before that I liked. I said it wasn't too relaxing, it wasn't too, it was just that good sort of middle and again, the most sort of commercialized um, potentially one. So just a, a good mix of what this album has entailed really. So I think if someone's gonna list this album, maybe they could just listen to those last two tracks to get a good sort of feel and vibe for it really. So, okay, so that's the end of the album review. Um, so to sum up for me, I'd probably say, it's not my go-to type of music, to be honest. I, I didn't particularly enjoy reviewing it. I think just because of the, the type of music it was, whereas, for example, last um, the last review we did was Pink Floyd. And I actually really enjoyed reviewing that just because there was so much variety, never knew what, what was going to come next. So with this, we didn't get that. It was quite repetitive. However, saying that, I still think that if I just had this on somewhere in the background and, you know, or like you were saying, like in a bar somewhere relaxed, I, I think it'd be perfectly fine. It's just probably not the best music to, to maybe sit down and try to 
you know, review and pick bits out of it and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's a style, I guess, we haven't, I guess we have, probably haven't reviewed before. You know, it's only a little bit different, that kind of jazz and soul kind of um, genre. So, yeah, it was, it was interesting. Um, I'll, I'll give it that. Um, Brett, what about you? What would you say? Yeah, again, I don't think I can touch on more what you said there. I totally agree with everything that you said there. I think we have had albums um, in the past like this, not this style. So I think we haven't had this sort of genre style before. But in terms of, yeah. they're actually quite nice and good to listen to, but very difficult to review. And you're sort of not doing it service because we can't really get across exactly what it's like. And then also, you don't appreciate the album because you're trying to think about what you're feeling, what you're thinking, when really it should just be played, listened to, and just um, to be enjoyed, really. Um, so, but like I said, and as I said, I mean, there, definitely enjoyed listening to it. And I think if I wasn't reviewing it, it's something that I could just put on listen to. So in that sense, it was a quite successful album in, in those regards. And I know they've obviously I mean, they've had a lot of stuff, so I'd be interested in what the rest of their stuff um, could be on a lot of their, their albums if it all is very much like this or this particular album is very this style particular of what we've just listened to really okay so that concludes our album review for today so thank you for watching um, and also um, please feel free to leave a request um, for an album that you would like us to review you would also have the opportunity to join us um to kind of introduce your album why you've chosen it why you like it um so yeah get typing in the comment section so guys thank you and goodbye